Hello friends, today we are going to discuss about microbial metabolism in biological waste water treatment plant. Carbon in energy sources for microbial growth. Organisms must have source of energy, carbon for synthesis of new cellular material and inorganic elements such as nitrogen, phosphorus, sulfur, potassium, calcium and magnesium. There should be carbon sources. Main carbon sources organisms that use organic carbon for formation of new biomass are called heterotrophs. Organisms that derive cell carbon from carbon dioxide are called autotrophs. So there are energy sources. Energy needed for cell synthesis supplied by light or by chemical oxidation reaction. Those organisms that are able to use light as an energy source are called phototrophs. Phototrophic organisms either heterotrophic or autotrophic. Organisms that derive energy from chemical reactions are called chemotrophs. Chemotrophic obtains energy from the oxidation of the reduced inorganic compounds like ammonia, nitrate, ferrous and sulfide. Chemotrophs derive their energy from oxidation of the organic compound. Oxidation reduction reactions involve transfer of the electrons from electron donor to electron acceptor. Electron donor is oxidized and electron acceptor is reduced. Electron acceptor available within cell during metabolism or it obtained from outside. Respiratory metabolism. Organisms that generate energy by enzyme mediated electron transfer to external electron acceptor. Fermentative metabolism. Use of internal electron acceptor and less efficient energy yielding process than respiration. Aerobic. When oxygen is used as an electron acceptor, the reaction is termed as aerobic. In aerobic, when electron acceptor other than oxygen are involved, the reaction is considered to be in aerobic. Anoxic. When nitrate or nitrite is used to ex electron acceptor, reaction is termed anoxic. Under anoxic condition, nitrate or nitrite reduction to the gaseous nitrogen occurs. This is also referred to as biological denitrification. Organisms that can only meet their energy needs with oxygen are called obligate aerobes. Bacteria that can use oxygen or nitrate as electron acceptor in absence of the oxygen are called faculative aerobes. Organisms that generate energy by fermentation and that can exist in an environment devoid of oxygen are obligate in aerobes. Organisms having ability to grow in either presence or absence of oxygen are faculative anaerobics. These are the main microbial metabolism that occurs inside the biological waste treatment plant. So the biological waste treatment plant works in different stages like in the preliminary treatment then there will be primary clarifier, then there will be aeration tank, then there will be secondary clarifier, then there will be nutrient removal and disinfection, and then there will be sludge digester. So a long process is involved in biological metabolism which takes place within the biological waste water treatment. This is very efficient process of treating the waste water. Thank you, thank you for discussion.